So, we're here. Have you decided where to go? That doesn't really matter. What's important is that we're here together. Don't we always go places together? Huh? No, this is different. How's it different? Um, well, this is a date, for one. What do you mean by that? It's just a formality. What's a formality? Shut up! Just be quiet and follow me. But you haven't decided where to go. Yes, I have. First... Yes? Quante. Yes, that's it. Why? What do you mean, why? We've got a lot of memories there, right? Come on, let's get going. Here. This is where I wanted to go. But we come here all the time. It's different. This is a date, so we have to look at everything from a different perspective. Just look. This is where you saved me and Sarley, right? I thought we were done for. All right. Back when we infiltrated the church. I thought you'd both just gotten out of the bath. Yeah, you found us just in the nick of time. Although, I wonder if that was because of the interdemand. It's certainly possible. I'm not sure, though. I still don't really know when it's active. Hmm. The timing did seem a little too perfect, even back then. Now that you mention it, I can't remember why I decided to go check up on you. For a minute, I thought you'd been peeping on us. Really? Doesn't it seem like something you do? What's that supposed to mean? I'm glad now, though. I was really happy when you saved me. What? Where did that come from? I just told you what I was thinking. I've decided that's what I'm going to do today. It's a shame you're not always this honest and upfront. Did you say something? Uh, no, nothing. This place is always so relaxing. It's really peaceful. It might be nice to live in a nice, quiet place like this. What? You sound like an old man. I could start a farm, open a cooked a Delta branch that serves homegrown veggies. What do you think? Sounds all right. But you need to come up with a better menu and retake your first location. Ah, they can keep it. Tatoria could help us out here too. Don't talk about Tatoria. All I can think about is turning into a Charl after drinking that weird medicine. Really? I thought you were pretty cute. Seriously, stop it already. This place really does look like Manjusara. Most of my memories are back, but I still can't remember Manjusara. Did it really look like this? More or less, it's a little different. Some of these buildings are from a world I've never seen. But it feels warm and a little sad, just like the place where we grew up. Huh. There were shop stalls like this there too? Mm hmm A lot of the local shops were booths. There were a lot of people in Manjusara that moved there from other places, like me. But the town was already full of people, so most of the new arrivals had to use street booths. <laughs> Makes sense. You really helped me out then, you know. I mean it. I was all alone. 
Yeah. Although, I guess you're still helping me out. What? Oh, look! It says they're Tendrosara's specialty item! Chelnotron! It's weird, but it's cute, too! Delta, buy me one of these. <laughs> You're hopeless. This is the altar of Noire. Where we fought Cannon. In retrospect, we did something pretty awful here, huh? We didn't have a choice. Cannon really saw things differently. Maybe. I was being stubborn too. Could have just talked it out. It's good that we realize that now. Once we beat the maternal overseer, we'll have lots of time to talk. You're right. We need to stop her. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Hey, Delta. Hmm? What's up? I know you were being stubborn back then, when we fought Cannon, but you were also really admirable. This... This is the place where you finally told me the truth, about Interdomen. I'm sorry I hid it for so long. Well, it's not like you told anybody else, right? No, although Sarley and Nay knew the whole time. I still can't forgive them for that. But I am really happy that you chose to tell me, and only me. I felt horrible about not being able to trust you. That's not your fault. I couldn't even believe it. And it was me it was happening to. I was surprised you noticed, though. Nobody else seemed to. I just wish I'd figured it out sooner. I could have done so much more for you. I could have helped you through the bad times and shared the good times. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? We can still do those things. But if the interdemand starts again, then you'll lose those feelings too. If it controls you for too long, your body might be taken over completely by whoever's on the other end. Don't you remember what Sarley told you? We'll defeat the Maternal Overseer and release into Demend again before that happens. Once we're done fighting, I won't need to Demend anymore. I just need to borrow a little power. Yeah, I know. I'm not the only one suffering because of inter demand either. Prim is too. We need to save her. Yeah. The Star Singer's platform. We're finally here. This place is connected to another world. Well, the Arno Surge Tube is. Although, it doesn't really seem like it. I wonder what the other world is like. I don't know. It would be nice if it was as pretty as Sharon O'Ear. It could be pretty hellish. This world is going to be pretty hellish soon. Thanks to the Maternal Overseer, the ship's systems are failing. Sarley said it can't support life much longer. Neon's reason for stopping Nello and Corzal and Kanan's dream for a new planet. I think I understand both of them now. Yeah. I hope the clues for a new planet that Eon and Sarley found will really lead to something. We should be fine if we have entered them in. I'm sure the person in the other world will help us find a new world. I hope so. Hey, if you don't start singing soon, don't you think everyone will get worried? Huh? Uh, no, it's fine. I asked them to give us a day. 
That'll be tomorrow, around noon. Well, technically, yes, but... Hey! Huh? Um... What's wrong? Can I ask you something? What is it? Um... Well... This might be the last time you're yourself, so tonight I... to be with you. Huh? Please? I I'm really nervous. This was your idea. usually supposed to ask or something? Are you trying to blame this on me? <sighs> Just be quiet. Guys who don't understand how a lady feels are the worst. Hey, if it was that easy, nobody would have any problems. Ugh. Hey, uh, there's something I wanted to ask you too. Is that okay? What is it? I want you to sing the song for Enter the Mind while I sleep. Why? Someone's gonna be taking control of me. It's... well, it's kinda scary. Delta... Okay, I understand. I'll do it. said you were going to start inter -demend again. I got really mad at you and at Sarley and the others. Why did you have to do it? Why hadn't anybody told me anything? Why were you going to turn into somebody I didn't know again? It didn't seem fair, and it made me angry. But after spending today with you, I feel like I'm ready to face it. Tomorrow you're going to turn into someone else. But that means that right now, you're the real you, without a doubt. And that's given me courage. Right now, I feel like I can tell you the things I'd normally be too embarrassed to say. I love you, Delta. From the bottom of my heart, I always have. <laughs> well, it's just like you to fall asleep for that.
There's somebody on the other side of this terminal, right? The Avatar Core. No, I brought you here because I want to ask you something. Please help us. I know that to you, our world might just be an image on the other side of a screen. But to us, it means everything. Delta's decided he's going to use Interdemend again. That means he's trusting you with our world. So I'm going to believe in you too. But please save it as quickly as you can. If you don't, Delta won't really be himself anymore. And I need him to be him. Without Delta, I... I don't know what I'd do. What's your world like? Is it a peaceful place without wars or fighting? Do you have anybody who's important to you? I don't know what kind of person you are. But when you were using Interdemand, you didn't make Delta do anything bad. So I don't think you're a bad person. Please, I'm entrusting Delta and our world to you. Thank you. You really are a kind person. I'm glad. Thank you, Delta. Cass, I'm really sorry for not telling you about Interdemand. That's in the past now. Delta's made his decision, so I'm going to stand by him. That's all that matters right now. Cass... I don't want to talk about this anymore. Also, um... I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of it. Thanks, Cass. What are you going to do now? Isn't that obvious? We'll use the power of Inter the Men to defeat the Maternal Overseer and avenge the Prime Minister. Don't overestimate what it can do. Inter the Men won't make you omnipotent. I know, but I've got Cass. I'm not worried. Yeah! I won't try and stop you. But be careful. I won't forgive you if you don't come back. Let's go. Placenta's waiting.
Nello? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? We're here to defeat her and take back the Prime Minister. And not just the Prime Minister, either. We're gonna save everyone who's been taken. I see. You might as well give up, then. You're too late. What? I came here for Undu, too. He was one of the few people who treated me kindly. When I was all alone, he would come and spend time with me. He opposed the creation of the Maternal Overseer, and ultimately decided to leave for Felion. But I always liked him. And now I'm sad he's gone. You do realize he's gone because of the Maternal Overseer you helped create. Such spirit. You seem different than before. I wonder, did you figure out how to coexist? That's not what we're here to talk about. Now, return all the people you took! That's impossible. They can't come back. And I can't do anything to bring them back. The Maternal Overseer was created to fuse souls. Once they've merged, that's it. They're gone. No, all of them? I'm not going to ask you to forgive me for turning your friends into the maternal overseer. But I really need her. I'm sorry. It isn't like I don't like this world. But I want to go back to my own. I need to go back. My soft futon. And that familiar ceiling. The hallway lit by the early morning light. Those warm meals. Please just let me go home. Nello! I don't know what sort of suffering you've endured here. And I know you have your reasons. But I can't forgive you for killing people just so you can get home. I see. Still, you're too late. But the two of you can still escape. Get as far away as you can, before you're consumed by the Maternal Overseer. There's a woman named Ixit at the Singing Hill. I broke her memories, so you will have to go into her heart and fix them. If you can do that, you can go to the planet you were originally destined for. The key to fix Ixit's memories is her name itself. Why are you telling us this? Didn't I say? I like you. You were nice to me. It was fun to go to the surface with you. I really mean that. I want you to have a good life, even after I've gone back to my world. There's still a lot of people on the ship, and a lot of Charles on the surface. Are you telling us to just run away and leave them behind? There's no way we can do that. That's okay. I don't plan to let you get away anyway, Daddy. Oh no. You have to run. Now. Ugh, how annoying! Hey, Nello, what's wrong with you? All you do is get in Prim's way lately. All that matters is that I get home. Pass and Delta don't have anything to do with that. Sure they do. If the Maternal Overseer absorbs them, we'll have enough souls even sooner. Besides, if we leave them alone, all they'll do is get in our way. So it's better to let her eat them. Mello, behind you! What? takes care of her. I thought you wanted to help her get home. Oh, don't worry. I didn't kill her. Besides, as the maternal overseer's eye, Nello would have fused anyway. Prim just wanted Nello to be happy. This was the best way of doing that. 
Get your head on straight. Give us back the prim we know. I never thought you'd reconnect to Interdemand after all the trouble you went to getting rid of it. You're pretty amazing, Daddy. It must be some sort of fate that Prim was born from Daddy while connected to Inner Demen. You don't like the fact I'm connected to two different channels, do you? All of your actions are being leaked to Earthus and Eon right now. You're the one at a disadvantage here. That might be true, but Prim's already one. It doesn't really matter. Now all I have to do is Hide and wait. Are you sure? The maternal overseer can't get the 100,000 souls she needs now. The Flask Sea doesn't have many human souls left in it anymore. Oh, that. It's okay. We've already got a really good plan. You want to know what it is? Of course you do. But I'm not telling. You'll just have to wait. Bye-bye! Really think we'll just let you escape? That's not up to you, Daddy. It's up to Jill and Undu. Damn it! Isn't there some way to beat her? That would be difficult. She might not have 100,000 souls, but she's got tens of thousands. I don't know how long we'd last. Anyway, we shouldn't come back here until we've got a plan. It's too dangerous!